Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Well, holidays are around the corner, and I know a lot of you guys have started doing your Christmas shopping. Online shopping will be on the rise this year too because a lot of retailers are trying to catch up with Amazon. Also, Toys R Us has closed its doors, so a majority of you, including me, will be shopping toys online. Well, I am also predicting that porch pirates will also be busy this holiday season. So, if you don't have a security camera yet, it is high time to get one even just to monitor your front door. Cameras are good for minimizing incidents of theft and vandalism, but it will not stop hardcore porch pirates. So today, I'll show you a simple decoy package that you can leave near your front door. It will not prevent people from getting your packages, but it will definitely give them a scare and attention to themselves that hopefully they will just leave your packages alone. And if you also have security cameras, then you will also have a footage of the attempted package theft. I usually do security tips videos during the holidays and I did the laser lights theft resistant hack for the last two years. And if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below. This is pretty simple to do and some of you might have this little alarms already on hand. So let's go over the materials list. First thing that you need is a box, like the used box that you receive from Amazon or other online retailers. Whenever you receive a package next time, try to open it up from the bottom. Try to keep the top part as intact as possible so that it will not be suspicious. Then we have the siren. I have two types for this video and both of them are pretty cheap. Just choose one and I'll show you on how to set it up for both types of alarms. I'll include the links for these alarms in the description down below. We will test how loud these alarms are and we will use my sound meter to visualize how loud they are. The personal alarm has basically a pull pin that when pulled out, the alarm will go off. The window sensor will activate when the little sensor part is away from the main unit. Both of them are pretty loud and will be enough to startle anybody especially if they're not expecting it. Now for the other stuff that you will need. You will need something heavy that is smaller and could fit inside the box. I'll use this little 5 pound dumbbell but anything with some weight will work. A block of wood or even a rock will work. This will act as an anchor for the other end of the trip wire that goes to the alarm. Then we will need some type of string. A fishing line or a thin wire should work. With this setup, it will be inside the box, so any color of string will work. We need some scotch tape and some mounting tape. You can also use a hot glue gun or some type of glue. This will be used to mount the alarm on the box. Then a pair of scissors. Now, time to assemble and make this work. The bottom of the box should be open, so fold the flaps towards the inside of the box. Or you can also cut it off, or cut a section on the bottom, as long as it is big enough for your anchor weight to go through. Then we need to install and secure the alarm inside the box. I'll show you with the window alarm sensor first, and then later on, I'll also show you on how to do it if you have the personal alarm. So, cut a strip of the mounting tape and tape it on the back side of the alarm and mount it inside the box, either on top or on the sides. On mine, I'll mount it on top. Then on the smaller sensor, we need to tape one end of our strip wire or the string. I will tie a knot on the end of the wire so that it cannot be easily pulled out from the sensor. I'll tape it on one side of the sensor using the scotch tape. Give it a tug test to make sure it is secure. It just needs a gentle pull from the trip wire to set the alarm off. We will then need to tape this sensor to the main alarm on one of the sides. We will tape it just enough to hold the sensor in place but can be easily pulled out with a gentle tug from the trip wire. I'll just roll the scotch tape to itself, sticky side up. 
stick it to the sensor and then to the alarm. And with a gentle tug, it will easily come off. Cut the string or wire long enough for you to be able to tie it on your anchor weight. With a dumbbell, you can easily wrap it around. That's it. All you need to do is arm the alarm and it should be ready to go. Let's try it out. It works. If you have the personal alarm, setting up is even simpler. Cut a strip of the mounting tape so that you can mount the alarm on the inside of the box. Mounting position will matter here because of the pull pin. You need to position it so that the pull pin is pointing downwards. I have to mount it on the side of the box so that the pull pin can easily be pulled out. Cut your trip wire and tie one end to your anchor weight and the other end on the pull pin. Now, let's try this out. It works! Let's set this up outside and test it out. So try it out guys and if more of us are going to start doing this, then all those sports pirates will take a second look on the packages that they are trying to steal. Also share this video so that everybody can do this. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet to get how to and security tips like this video, product reviews, comparison videos, and long term reviews. Thank you.